This week on 20 TV, we look at how student council impacts schools. And we learn about unique courses offered to homeschool students in D20. But first, how do standardized tests affect teaching? You're watching 20 TV Weekly from Academy District 20 in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Hello and welcome to 20 TV Weekly. I'm Ian Willing. And I'm Elena Erlin. Thanks for joining us today on 20 TV. Once again, testing season has come around, but have you ever wondered what's the deal with all these tests? Standardized tests such as Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers, or PARC, and Colorado Measures of Academic Success, or CMAS, are mandated at a federal and state level to be taken by students to see how they are progressing in learning. Grades third through ninth must take PARC testing in English, language arts, and math. Grades fifth, eighth, and 11th take the science test, and grades fifth and seventh take social studies. Becky Allen describes why the state mandates these tests. We always want to be sure that we are best meeting our students' needs. So we use these test results to say, are some areas that we're doing really well in? Are there some areas that we would like to look at improvements in? And certainly that helps us. The state goes through an accountability process for all school districts and look at test scores as part of that process. For the past six years, D20 has been a leader in high test scores in Colorado. District 20 offers a unique course for students who don't attend D20 schools. The Homeschool Academy is an expert enrichment program founded in 2008. The special course offers three different enrichment programs for students in kindergarten through eighth grade that they usually wouldn't receive in a standard homeschooling course. From art to outdoor education and even a course focusing on the technical and modern day technology, the Homeschool Academy has many different things to teach young students. Homeschool Academy Administrator Joylyn Patterson believes her course is more than just learning. We also have a large technology resource, so we have students working on iPads and laptops, and so they have those experiences. We do field trips, um, and then they're exposed to curriculum that their parents may not have strengths in. For the second year in a row, the Homeschool Academy has won the Best in the Springs Award from the Gazette for its homeschool program. The faculty is hoping for a third. Dances, fundraisers, and community service projects would not be possible without an effective group that makes it all possible. Pine Creek Student Council does many things for their school and their community. At Pine Creek, Student Council has two purposes. The first is to serve the student body and the staff at Pine Creek. Their second purpose is to develop the leadership of the students within the student body. Pine Creek has four committees. The first is Connections, the second is Community Committee, and then there is Recognition Committee. And the last is Student Morale. Ms. Carlson believes that through, the student count, through Student Council, her students will gain experience that can help them in the future. I think you get a lot of life experience in like actually working with people and how to work in, in groups and, and plan things and Things don't always go well and you have to figure it out. But I think we, uh, I think you get a lot of life experience in like actually working with people and how to work in, in groups and, and plan things and things don't always go well and you have to figure it out. Pine Creek student government is now finishing up electing executive officers. Career and technical education gives students the opportunity to explore and learn through practical application that will help them compete in the global economy. Academy District 20's Career and Technical Education program offers a variety of classes involving business, human services, health, criminal justice, journalism, and the arts. The classes provide opportunities for college-ready secondary students to accelerate their learning. Some classes even offer college credit to students while they are still meeting graduation requirements for high school. This program runs on experiencing educators in the field that they are teaching. Natalie Illy talks about the types of teachers that are involved in these programs. They hold a real life experience themselves, that they have worked in the fields that they are teaching. Um, for instance, when you think of something like construction, you want they hold a real life experience themselves, that they have worked in the fields that they are teaching. Um, for instance, when you think of something like construction, you want an, a, a teacher or an instructor that's going to not only give you the skills you need, but tell you what to expect when you get out on the real world and work. If you're interested in finding out more or how you can participate in some of these classes, visit the district website. One District 20 student, student took top honors this spring in a skills competition. Pine Creek senior Caitlin Hardy won the SkillsUSA Regional Cosmetology Competition. 
She received a set of new hairstyling equipment for winning and she will use that in the national competition. She will be the first D20 student to represent the school district at nationals. Caitlin tells us how her teachers have helped her throughout the year. Oh, my teachers have been my emotional block. <laughs> They've been through everything, like um, all of my million questions that I've had and they, I don't know, they just really know how to help you and support you and make sure you have everything that you need to succeed. Caitlin will be competing in the national competition June 18th through the 24th in Louisville, Kentucky. Good luck, Caitlin. Students are learning to think critically in one Rampart Social Studies class. Robert McKinney has been teaching high right. school for 20 years after retiring from the United States Air Force. He currently teaches three different courses. American Systems of Government, 21st Century Modern Issues, and Sociology. Year after year, many seniors have credited McKinney as their favorite teacher for opening their eyes to modern events and different worldviews, as well as challenging their fundamental beliefs. I want, uh, I want every student to realize their potential. Not the potential that we talk about that's never achieved, but that we can be, you can be, much, much more. I want you to expect great things from yourself. Mr. McKinney says he gets a great deal of enjoyment out of influ influencing and motivating young adults. If there's one thing that students could take away from being in one of his classes is that all ideas have consequences. He plans to retire when he stops making a difference and the students stop asking him to stay. We have seen some mid 70 degree weather in the springs. Will the warm weather keep up? We will take a look at the forecast. And we'll also look at D20 performances in spring playoffs after the break. You're watching 20 TV Weekly. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Welcome back to 20 TV Weekly. Thanks for staying with us. Spring is halfway over, but it just seems like it's starting. Could the warm weather keep up? We'll now turn to Jacob Pruitt with next week's weather. Well, we won't be seeing any really warm conditions over the next week. In fact, temperatures will be below normal for this time of the year for at least the next week. I'll talk more about those temperatures coming up right here in a minute. First, taking a look nationally, we can see most of the current weather across the country is down in the southeast. A severe line of storms is currently affecting parts of western Kentucky and Tennessee. The western half of the country is looking dry, but that won't be the case for us here in Colorado, as it is that time of the year where we could see rain and thunderstorms almost every afternoon. The averages for Colorado Springs this time of the year looks like this. Our average high comes in at 68 degrees with our average low coming in at 42. Our record high was set back in 1962 at 86 degrees, and we've seen almost two inches of precipitation in the last month. Looking ahead, we can see those below average temperatures sticking around through at least the middle of next week. The warmest days are looking to be Saturday and Sunday with highs in the mid 60s, but we will have a chance for an afternoon rain shower or thunderstorm through Monday. It looks to be dry out by Tuesday, but those temps will be back into the mid 50s before getting back to 62 degrees on Wednesday. So, you'll definitely want to carry around a raincoat for the next few days, as we will again see that chance for a scattered shower or thunderstorm through Monday. Ian and Elena? Thanks, Jacob. Now let's turn to 20 TV Sports with Kyle Shetler. Thanks, Ian and Elena. We're going to start off with the 4A Girls Soccer Tournament, where 5th-ranked Air Academy hosted 28th-ranked Skyview Wednesday night in a first-round matchup. It was all Air Academy in this one, as the cadets built an early lead in the first half. They were up 4-0 at the half and added two more for the 6-0 win. Six different players scored for Air Academy. Air Academy will also host in the second round as the fifth seed. They'll welcome in number 21 Littleton, who upset Durango 1-0. That game will be Saturday at 1 o'clock at the K-Dome. The Classical Academy girls soccer team is also in the 4A state tournament as the fourth seed. The Titans have just one loss this season and were looking in to move to the second round as they hosted 29th seed Pueblo West. Junior Hannah Burgo had a fantastic game. She scored five goals on the way to the easy win. It's the third time this year that she has scored five goals. It was another shutout for the Titans who haven't given up a goal in more than a month. The Titans move on to the second round with the 8-0 convincing win. In the second round, TCA will host 13 seed Mullen who put up a seven on Vista Peak Prep. 
The second round game gets underway on Saturday at 6. If both Air Academy and TCA win, they would face each other in the quarterfinals. The Pine Creek girls soccer team would start their postseason play Tuesday night as they faced off the 28th seed, the Legend Titans. A game we covered live right here on 20TV. Pine Creek up on a board first, putting up two goals early. Legend would respond with a goal of their own, but the Eagles tacked on one more before the half to lead to a 3-1. It was all Pine Creek in the second half, and they added another five goals and cruised to the 8-1 win. The dominating performance moves Pine Creek into the second round where they'll host number 12 Broomfield on Friday. That game gets underway at 6 from D20 Stadium. Good luck to all D20 teams in the playoffs, and that's all for sports. Ian and Elena? Thanks, Kyle. We have more ahead on 20TV Weekly. Coming up next, we'll wrap the year on 20TV. No more pencils, no more books, no more teachers, dirty looks. School's out for summer. What this place needed was better graduation rates. So we worked with schools like Henry Ford High, and now they're up 18%. To help us do more good this year, go to unitedway.org, because great things happen when we live united. Welcome back to 20TV Weekly. We're almost out of time for this week's show. Thanks for joining us this semester on 20TV Weekly. Congratulations to all District 20 seniors. Join us next semester for our news, weather, and sports right here on 20TV Weekly. Have, Have a, a great, great summer! summer.